my name is Lawrence von Seidlein and I'm based in Bangkok, Thailand. I coordinate uh, malaria elimination efforts for the uh, unit and uh, my field of work includes uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Myanmar. The focus of my work is malaria elimination and what we are trying to coordinate are ways to do operational research to find the best way of uh, and the most cost efficient way to eliminate malaria. We are living in a time of the historically very, very low uh, malaria prevalence. I don't think it has ever been so low as it is now. And uh, so there is a real chance for once to get rid of the, the parasite once and for all. The threat is that if you have this really low uh, prevalence and incidence of malaria, basically you have cornered the parasite. The parasites that can survive under these circumstances are the ones that are the strongest, that have completely adapted to this environment. These are parasites which are resistant to the traditional uh, antimalarial drugs. The fear, of course, for an epidemiologist is that this population is going to expand again. And if these parasites expand, we have at the moment no good treatment for them. We need uh, two or three antimalarial drugs at once to get rid of in, in one patient of these drugs. So it has become very expensive and, uh, and, and complicated to treat uh, the people who have these, these parasites. And our fear is that if this population here expands here in, in Southeast Asia, uh, the same thing has happened which happened before with sulfadoxin pyramethamine, with chloroquine, that resistance parasites which arise from the Western Cambodia spread throughout the greater Mekong subregion and then some, uh, they, they, they make it through spreading through, through India. And uh, there has always been lively commerce between India and East Africa make the way then into the African uh, subcontinent. The, the main focus of your work is malaria elimination. What are the challenges in that work? Malaria elimination is going on for at least 50 years or something like this. And when the, uh, the, the big time of the, the last century malaria er eradication, that was, say, 1963, somewhere around that time. 1963, there was a really strong drive to eliminate and eradicate malaria perhaps even more optimistic than people are today. And uh, when, then, when they weren't successful, there was a complete resurgence of, uh, of malaria. When I started in malaria in 1995 in West Africa, there was, uh, we went into villages in the Gambia and were, virtually every single person had were parasitemic. And it was not submicroscopic parasitemia. That was, if you drew their blood and looked at the microscope, you would find uh, parasites during the malaria season. You're trying a lot of, would you call them uh, community engagement? Yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's what it's called, that the overarching umbrella term is kind of community engagement, but what does that mean? The, the one stream is having these technical solutions, but we are also very interested in finding approaches to engage whole communities. What would we have to do to make you interested in it? And one way to do it, and I think that's the most successful way from what we have learned over the last years, is that we, we, we provide healthcare. Uh, through the village healthcare worker, that builds trust. Um, that can be a villager who is interested in doing this and wants to do training and become better at it. And then we support this person with uh, medication, basic diagnostic tests. And as soon as there is one person stationed there who can take really take care of most fevers, uh, malaria incidence drops tremendously, very quickly. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very effective intervention. So it's building trust. So that's, that's, that's not a very sophisticated technological approach and it doesn't get you into the, the fancy journals and it doesn't give you a high impact factor, but it's absolutely essential if you want to uh, be successful in malaria elimination. What are the benefits of you for working at Moru? Well, um, I'm based here in the Mahidol Oxford Research Unit in Bangkok and the advantages are that I'm in the, in the zone, in the, uh, in the area, in the region. Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Myanmar. Being based here in Bangkok, I can fly to any one of these sites within half a day and start uh, with, with visiting field sites. Uh, if I would be based in Europe, I would have to fly first from London to Bangkok and then from Bangkok to these places, which would make it much more difficult, if not impossible. Uh, the second thing is that you have a different perspective, really. If you live in, uh, in whether it's in Washington, in London or wherever, you have a little bit of a different view um, being here immersed in the, in the Asian area. I think I have a little bit better understanding than I would have in, an, in another place. If, if you had one, one thing to say to governments about malar malaria elimination, what would it be? As a Minister of Health, you look around, where is most disease? 
uh, what is the biggest problem that my nurses uh, from, the, from the district's hospital uh, are, are busy with? What, is the, what are the hospital's managers most concerned about? And it's probably not malaria at the moment because we have it at very low, uh, very low levels. But it's really myopic to stop at this stage the, uh, the, the funding instead of saying, OK, so we have to continue this and keep it at very low levels and try to do the last push of getting rid of it.